Lara X13, a new part of my mother that was released, uh, or I realized, um, I think it was two weeks ago. Uh, it was around the same time I realized a new part of myself that was released called 1337, which I will talk about in the future. Um, uh, Lily, or Lilith, is uh, the most potent Quicksilver there is. That is, uh, that is why I say that we are the sword and the shield. I'm the most dense, she's the most potent. This is a... She's become more potent. Uh, horse dense. Quicksilver destroyer. Like many in the family. The best orgasm as well. That, that comes along with the potency. Uh, jagged edge. <laughs> Uh, that, that might seem like a, an insult to many, uh, but uh, uh, if you can understand the way me and my family transmute energy, um, sorry if that sounds a bit condescending, uh, then you'll see we can transmute anything into a we can transmute many things into much higher energies than than you would expect um, and we take the some of the lowest lowest vibrations low, lowest vibrational interactions like the ones that I have that I'm having more recently um, and we turn them into something uh, powerful something useful um, something interesting certainly interesting um, uh, <clears throat> and um, and this part came came about from the what I call hell, what I once called the real hell. Um, this video is called the real hell. You can check those out. Um, which I've been experiencing over the past few days. Some of the most poisonous energies ever. Um, I don't say that casually either. I mean, literally, some of the most poisonous energies ever. Um, uh, and I would like to clarify again: the real hell is is a beautiful place with a with a with a high vibrational perception, with a, which is a perception of the reality. Um, um, can appreciate the, the beauty in hell it's like appreciating the beauty in a being um, what some may call a lower vibrational being um, uh, often it, it is a matter of perception and, and sometimes it's just a lower vibrational perception from one being and yet projecting on another being or just not seeing the character the real character of a, of a, of a being with these uh, what you may call lower frequencies, and you can call lower frequencies, um, with a high vibrational perception, you can see that actually there's, you know, it's a matter of character. There's so much, um, there's so much within those what many call lower frequencies. So much, uh, so much to experience. Um, first thing I think of is sex. <laughs> Um, and I've had some of the best orgam orgasms of my life in in uh, what I suppose you could call hell. Although I don't, I don't want to keep using the term hell all the time. Um, on the in these um, in these what many call lower frequencies, um, as I express my real character. Um, I see, you know, I um, I see uh, I see the beauty in uh, our frequencies. Uh, hell, Reaver. 
Boom was necessary, 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 I boom when necessary, I kill when necessary. Chaos flow. Um, now, keep in mind that this part of my mother was released around the same time uh, the part of me that I call 1337, or what I was named as, Crash. Um, um, we're, we're very similar. Um, we grew together in, in these, um, in these uh, poisonous experiences. And these poisonous experiences came about from, um, from me being programmed to a lower vibrational perception of, of myself. 